Welcome to my review of Gemini Men, the latest film directed by Ang Lee and starring Will Smith and... Will Smith. I thought that was Jaden. The film tells the story of a retiring assassin, Henry Brogan, who finds himself pursued by a mysterious killer that can predict his every move. And it's no secret that this is a clone of Will Smith. It was a big thing that they were going to use the aging technology and capture the younger version of Will Smith to fight off against Will Smith. Let me tell you right off the bat, this film is not great. This film is not good even. I think the film is shot really nicely. Let's start there. Some of the vistas in this film are absolutely gorgeous to die for. And another great aspect is the action sequences. I think the action holds up really, really well. I was glad to see that Lee commands and helms the action rather nicely. Not a lot of cuts in them. Not a lot of close-up shots, but even then, they are far enough for you to understand what is going on and the character's positioning. He also explores the geography of each scene very well, so when the action kicks off, you really understand well where they came from, how they got to this point, and where they could possibly be going next. And the performances all around are fine, I think think that's the best way I can describe it. Look, there's not much to the characters, therefore the actors can only do so much. There's only two characters that are given actual meat to chew into, and I'm not saying this is like Oscar-worthy roles, but Will Smith does a really nice job on both of his parts, and they're actually pretty different, and he approaches them very differently. I was pleasantly surprised to see that. I know Will Smith to be a good actor, but maybe he could have just delivered the two characters in the same way. But he clearly didn't. He clearly put a lot of work into both his performances, and you can see that throughout the film. The younger Will Smith is more unsure of himself. He's more insecure. And the older one is just, like, tired of this whole thing. So I really enjoyed seeing both these characters and their personal struggles. Clive Owen is always a joy to see, but man, he's got nothing to do in here. He stands and talks. He sits and talks. He yells at one point. <laughs> That's the extent of his performance. He has a fight scene. He has a fight scene and it's all right. Doesn't last long, not even a minute, I think. Let's talk about the story, because it's very unnecessarily complicated to follow. And a lot of stuff doesn't make sense in this story. I don't want to go into spoilers, but the way it kicks off kind of doesn't make sense. There is something that Clive Owen yells out loud near the end of the film, and I'm screaming at the screen saying, where was that the entire film? You have no thematic thread throughout this film. So there's nothing this film is trying to say. And I'm not saying every film needs to say something or even try to say something. But throughout the film, I was questioning myself, what are they fighting for? Like, what's the big picture here? And apart from the line that Clive Owen has, there is none. The narrative is told very sloppily. The pacing is all over the place in this film. A lot of beats in this film repeat themselves over and over again, and it becomes annoying after a while. And I think the visual effects look great in the film. I think the visual effects on Will Smith look great. Apart from the last scene of the film, what the fuck happened there? But it has always hit me the wrong way that young Will Smith looks more like Jaden Smith than he does Will Smith. So why not just hire Jaden? Oh, because he's not a good actor. Okay, you're off the hook, movie. You can clearly tell they were more focused on how good the technology is or could be than they were with the story. It's generic. It is, at some points, really boring. It honestly brings nothing new. The MCU has been doing de-aging for a lot of years now. They just did an entire film with the aging with Samuel L. Jackson, who granted has aged very nicely and does need a lot of work, but still you get my point. If you're a huge fan of Will Smith, give it a shot. I hope you enjoy it more than I did. I'm giving Gemini Man a D+. 
Now, what did you think of Gemini Man of the Geekies? Let me know what is your favorite Will Smith performance and stay tuned for the last three LFF reviews for The Friend, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, and The Irishman. And check out all the other ones I've done for LFF this year so far. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. So until the next review, stay beautiful, stay geeky. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video because it really helps me out. But most importantly, love each other and love the movies.